Bolton manuscript, and does this increase the chances he could be called to testify? Well, I haven't seen a manuscript, but uh, I can tell you nothing was ever said to John Bolton, but I have not seen a manuscript. I guess he's writing a book. I have not seen it. Mr. President, we'll talk Mr. President, Mr. President, what can you tell us about the office plan? Prime Minister Netanyahu to implement the plan right away in the coming six weeks. Well, I think he's here for a reason, and uh, hopefully that it will be yes. And, Peace in the Middle East has been long sought for many, many, many years and decades and centuries. And this is an opportunity. We'll see what happens, whatever it is it is. But he's here for a reason. Would you, would you, give, a green light for would you give a green light for an extension of the, of the Jordan Valley? We're going to, see. We're going to announce tomorrow at 12 o'clock. We're going to show a plan. It's been worked on by everybody. Uh, and we'll see whether or not it catches hold. If it does, that'd be great. And if it doesn't, we can live with it too. But I think it might have a chance. Do you expect Benny Gantz to agree to the plan? Do I expect what? Benny Gantz. Uh, he's coming here today. He'll be here also. And as you know, they're two good competitors. They're fighting it out. Uh, I've been waiting now. This is my third election. We keep waiting and waiting and waiting. So let's go. What kind of a system is that? What about the election? That's a very strange system you have over there. We just get out. Because we have been. We've been, wait, we've been talking about this for many months, and we keep waiting for the election. So that system has to be looked at. But what about I think, first of all, I'm very honored to be here with you here today, yeah. Mr. President. And I look forward to making history with you tomorrow. Uh, and I think we'll talk about the plan. I'll talk about the plan. The vision of peace, which is historic, the President has put forward tomorrow. Today, I just want to say two words. Thank you. Thank you for everything you've done for Israel. Everything you've done for Israel. This is International Holocaust Remembrance Day. And on this day, I'm proud to stand here as the Prime Minister of the one and only Jewish state and thank you for confronting the most anti-Semitic regime on the planet. When you came into office, Iran was on the march. Because of your leadership, Iran is now on the run. You've uh, withdrawn from the dangerous nuclear, uh, nuclear deal. You've slapped on tremendous sanctions. Uh, you have, uh, two weeks ago, you've uh, taken out the most dangerous terrorists on the planet. All those who seek peace, all those who want to fight terrorism, should thank you, Mr. President, for your bold decisions and your bold actions. And on behalf of the State of Israel, I want to thank you for everything you've done for Israel, for confronting Iran, and for your extraordinary decisions, your friendship, and your leadership. That's the end of my speech. Trump, the last time I asked you if you were for a two-state solution, are you going to say tomorrow to state very, and the state? Very quickly. State? Uh, we're going to release a plan tomorrow at 12 o'clock. You're going to see for yourself. Okay, we'll see you in South Wales. No one knew.